Hey everybody, I want to show you how to do some quick and easy exploratory data analysis using Seaborn library and Python. So uh, I have a Jupyter Notebook open here and I'm going to load in a data set, a very common data set, which is the Avocado data set. I've written all the code because it takes some time to run the code and actually write it. So I wanted to get you through it quickly. So we're just loading in the standard li libraries, uh, pandas, is seaborn, saving it as the variable s in s, and that's what we're going to be primarily using. Um, I imported the warnings because uh, the differences in libraries sometimes causes issues, um, and we're just ignoring those warnings. And I'm loading in the CSV the avocado data set and looking at the head and you can see here are the columns um, we have average price and date and bag volume if I look at the data types here we can see that the date is saved as an object and I would like that to be a date so I just transform that column using PD dot to date time over the date and then if we look at the data types again we can see that the date is there so the first thing I like to look at in a data set is change over time. And since we have the date properly formatted, we can go down and create a line graph. So uh, we have matplotlib that allows us to change the figure size. So you can see this, this line here that I made the, the figure size a little bit bigger. Um, we are just using the SNS variable, which is Seaborn. And we're just having a line plot here. And the syntax here is once you load in the function, we need the data set, which I saved as DF here when I read the CSV in. We declare our X variable is date that you can see down here. And because it's in a date format, we get a nicer axis here. And we have the average price. And we, in our data, we have the type, which is conventional and organic, and we can separate the type in the Seaborn library using the hue type, which gives us this two options. If I don't have the hue, and I'll just run that for you and show you. So if I don't have the hue, we only have that single line. And if I have hue and I go and put type, that's when we can see, and that's going to take a minute to load. I don't know, my computer is super slow today. So that's when we can see both of those represented in the graph. For relationships, we're looking at two variables. So I would go with a scatter plot. And we're using the same syntax, a variable, S and S, and then we're adding scatter plot, the data set, and then we're declaring the X and Y variables. The next you can look at is a ridge plot, which brings in linear regression and looking for the line of best fit. And we just bring in our data set and declare the X and Y variables. Categories. This is a great option in Seaborn. We can use catplot. Catplot allows us to bring in a category, which is type, which we saw in the previous graph that we put in the hue section of the line graph. And then we have average price, and then we have our data set. And we can see the the distribution of prices in each one of these categories. The very similar plot is a box and whisker plot. We're using just something called box plot from SNS, which allows us to see box and whisker plots. For distribution, we can quickly go and use a histogram and in Seaborn the histogram is called displot and we can see the distribution of our average price and the frequency of that also 
more on distribution, we can use the joint plot, which allows us to see scatter and the distribution here at the top of the figure. And we can change that to a KDE plot, which also shows us the distribution and a KDE uh, scatter there. Now, if you want to see all distribution and scatter together, we can use pair plot. Pair plot allows you to see the distribution and scatter plot uh, over a large amount of variables. And because this data set had so many, I kind of narrowed it down here. Lastly, we can look at correlation. There is a function that allows you to look at all the correlation in your data set, which is just using the data set function, which is COOR, which gives us this correlation table. We can port that into a heat map that Seaborn has by using the heat map function. And I, I save that as correlation, just bringing that variable in here. And then we can optimize this using annotate um, and seeing the correlation across all that. And we can optimize all these graphs by simply going in and look at it, looking at the parameters. So if I click shift tab and hit it a couple times, we can see all the parameters that we have here. Well, line width, color maps, and there's quite a robust definition there. So if I wanted to optimize this one, I might want to use a different color map. And I'm going to use cool warm, I think it is. And let's run that. Well, I forgot to let me run the previous line. Now, there we go, cool warm. So we can optimize this very easily. That's just a quick and easy way to see exploratory data analysis in Seaborn using a couple different um, plots. I'll have a link to the Jupyter Notebook and the data set in the description below. Thank you.